When you find out the answer to these three key questions, it's going to make selling online personal training so much easier. Hey, Lee Constanson here, the founder of Personal Trainers Elite and Online Coaches Elite. And what we do is help personal trainers and coaches grow their online fitness business and help more people. And what I'm going to do in this video is give you three questions to ask during your consultation, during your phone call, to prospects to make your life easier when it comes to selling them. Because here's the big problem. Most trainers and coaches are selling training, not transformation. And what these questions are going to do is they're going to allow you to start really diving into your prospects pains, expanding the gap from where they are now to where they want to be. And it's going to make it easier to present a solution to them and justify why they need to take action now and why you're going to charge them whatever price you're going to charge. So you want to include these questions and you want to go deep on them so that you can get the information that you need so you can really show the value of what you do in relation to the things that they want. So here they are. The first question is probably an obvious question, but it's what is your goal? Okay, what is your goal? Now, most trainers and coaches might ask this question, but not really dive deep into the real goal. Yeah, you wanna lose 20 pounds, okay, you wanna lose 10 pounds, you wanna gain 50 pounds of muscle, but what is the real goal here? Okay, so what we wanna do is find out their goal, not just how much weight they wanna lose or what they want to change, but the goal that they want to see themselves doing. So let's take, for example, somebody says, I want to lose weight but what's the real goal? They want to look good on the beach. They wanna feel attractive for their husband, their wife. They wanna have more confidence at work. We wanna find out the goal that's in their heart of hearts, the real goal, because that's the thing that's going to have an emotional connection to them, because people aren't emotionally connected to the amount of weight they wanna lose, the amount of muscle they wanna gain. They are emotionally connected to what they really want, to meet a partner, to meet a spouse, to have more energy, to grow their business, whatever it is. The most important question is to go deep and find out what is their goal. And it also is something that makes them really appreciate you asking them because most people don't actually ask them these kind of questions. So just by asking them this question, making them think about themselves, it's going to connect them closer to you. The second question, is why is it important? Why is it important to you now? Why now? Why does this even matter in your life? Why do you care about achieving this goal? So what this does is it gets them to go that layer deeper from the superficial answer, the top layer, and go deeper into why this is important to them. Why do they need to take action? Why is this something that they need and want? And when you go deeper on their why, you can open up a lot of wounds and a lot of pain when you ask this question, just by asking them why. Because what can sometimes happen is you say, why is this important to you? And then they give you the real pain, the real reason why they wanna do this. They might say what they want, but when you get into the why, that's when you're gonna really connect with them. And that connection that you create with your prospect on a phone call is what's going to make them take it more seriously like address their problems and start valuing what they want, right? Because you can't sell a high ticket premium price program if you're just talking in facts, in numbers about how much weight they need to lose. If you want to justify a higher price, it's not about selling more things, it's about selling it based on why this is important for them. And you might wanna spend a bit of time around this question, just diving in, digging deep. And in some cases it might get an emotional response. They might cry, they might really feel something and that feeling that connects them to that why is what's going to help you take that action help them to lead them rather into the action of making some changes whether that's working with you or changing their life so you want to go deep on that and then the third key question to ask is how far are you from this goal and like based on where you are now how far would you say you are from reaching this goal. And what that will do is that will expand the gap, right? They're here, they want to get to here. When you ask them about their goals and then they start moving that goalpost away, 
because they really want this. And then you say, how far are you now? They start recognizing where they are and it starts expanding the gap. And that expanded gap is what makes them feel like I need to do something about it now because it's so far away. And so what that's going to do, it's going to start connecting them to finding a solution that's going to help them solve that problem that's gonna move them from where they are now to that end point. And so when you find out how far they are and you expand that gap, right, it starts to make them realize that they need to take some action sooner rather than later because there is a long way to go. And when you ask these questions in the right way with the right process around your whole sales call, it's gonna draw people into a place that you can then present your solution to their problems, their pains, to then reach their goals in a way that's going to emotionally connect them to your program, to you, and get them invested in themselves, which will then make them feel more confident and comfortable to pull out their credit card and invest in working with you. So these three questions, there's a lot more questions to ask, of course, but these are fundamental questions that you should be asking and not being afraid of diving deep into, not being afraid of going into their emotional states, not being afraid to ask them personal questions. Because at the end of the day, if you wanna ask somebody to pull out their credit card and pay you 500, 1,000, 2,000 pounds, $3,000, you're gonna to have to get comfortable asking them to do some uncomfortable things way before you ask them to pull out their credit card. And that comes down to this stuff and going deep and not being afraid of the response that you might get. Because I can tell you now, the response is only gonna be one that's going to draw them in closer to you. It's going to allow you to then connect deeper with them, which is gonna make it easier for you to sell to them, but most importantly, make it easier for you to lead them to taking some action to getting what they want. So go ahead, add these questions to your sales script or your sales consult, and let me know in the comments how they've worked out for you. If they've, if they've helped you with selling your programs, leave a comment below this video. And remember to like it as well so the algorithm shows this to more people, more trainers and coaches who are looking to lead more people to healthier, happier lives. And to always subscribe to the channel. If you like these videos, it helps me, helps you. So I know what you like by subscribing to the channel. It will tell me to make more training videos like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.